So these are the two equations in the data booklet. You're probably going to have to use both of them in these calculations. And they're linked by that lambda sign. Now you might think lambda is wavelength. No, 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 it isn't. It's the decay constant when you're talking about half-life. Now the IB won't tell you what those symbols mean in the data booklet, so you have to memorize them. N is the amount of isotope present. N sub zero is the amount of isotope present at the start. That lambda is the decay constant, and it seems that you need to know no more than the fact it's the decay constant. T, well, that's the time, and T half, that's the half-life. All right, so let's look at a typical question. Radon-222 has a half-life of 3.8 days. How long until a 75 gram sample decays to 10 grams? Well, that's the half-life. How long? So I have to find T. The beginning mass is 75 grams. And the mass of the end, I suppose, just the mass that you need, is N. Using the shorter equation first, rearrange to get that decay constant, which is 0 0.693 divided by 3.8. And that gives me 0 0.182. And I can't find it in any textbooks, but I'm pretty sure that must be days to the minus one. I don't think they're going to be bothered about the units either, to be honest. Using the second equation, n is 10 and n sub zero, 75. And that nasty exponential. So to get the exponential fixed, take the natural log of both sides. If you don't know how to do that, just memorize this format and it will work out. Rearrange to get T on its own. Not forgetting that cheeky negative that goes over. And so that's 11.1 .1, and it must be days because half-life is in days. Two sig figs as well, so 11 days is the answer. And that seems about right if you look at it. I got a 75 gram sample, goes down to 10 grams. 11 days seems reasonable. It's not like a million days or half a second. So a second question, after 50 days, only 1.8 grams of phosphorus 32 remains from an initial mass of 21 grams. What is the half-life? Well, looking at the numbers again, 50 is going to be T, that's the time. N is 1.86 grams, and N sub zero is the 21 grams. And half-life, all right. So if I've got N and N sub zero, I'm probably going to have to use that longer equation first of all. Okay, so my decay constant is caught up in that exponential. So take natural logs again of both sides and then rearrange for the decay constant. And that gives me a value of lambda equals 0 0.0485. I'm using one more sig fig than I need to and round off at the end. So the half-life is ln 2 over that lambda value. which gives me, and don't forget it has to be in days, because it said 50 days at the beginning, 14.3 days. But since 50 is two sig figs, you could probably round to 14 days. And we're done.